Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So this is my fourth video in my series of the new features in 2024 Release Wave 2. And in this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about the new features for Copilot for Service. Now, if you have Dynamics 365 customer service, and you want access to Copilot for Service, then you have to purchase that additional license because it's not part of Dynamics 365 customer service. So let's go ahead and start with the first feature, and that is the ability to now also connect to CRM data from ServiceNow. So previously, as you may or may not know, we were able to connect to Dynamics 365 data and Salesforce data, but now with this feature, we're also gonna be able to connect to ServiceNow. Now you can see here on the slide, the side pane, right? That is also configurable, the data that's actually going to be showing there, just like we can do today for Salesforce and for Dynamics 365 customer service. Pretty cool feature, right? Now the next one, you've already probably seen some of this uh, functionality, right? For example, uh, with Dynamics 365 sales data. So this has actually been in preview since June of this year, and it allows agents to ask questions about customer service data inside of Dynamics or inside of M365 Copilot, right? Some of the features, some of the examples, I should say, Questions that you can ask are, for example, give me a case summary of a case with this particular case number, right? Show me high priority cases for a particular account. What are cases that have missed their SLA in the past seven days? So those are some of the things that you can ask. Now in this slide, I'm showing you something similar, right? But instead of customer service data, I'm showing you here sales data. So you kind of get a little bit of an idea of what that looks like. Now, this one is actually pretty cool as well. I feel like Copilot, also in Copilot for service, but also Copilot for sales, it just keeps getting smarter, right? So here you can kind of see this feature actually looks at the email content. So somebody receives an email, Copilot for service looks inside what is in that email. And if somebody is asking for a meeting or, or a call, right, to connect, then Copilot for Service will actually suggest to schedule a meeting. And you can also see that in the slide, right? You have that little button there. So we can click on that and then it can create that meeting with some of those attendees already pre-populated. Now, unfortunately, according to the Microsoft Docs, the Learn site, this will only be available in the United States region but I'm hoping that it's gonna be pushed out to other regions as well. I guess we're just gonna to have to wait and see if that will happen. Now, this one is also similar to what we saw earlier. Um, we actually, um, I apologize for the blurry uh, image that you see here, but this is very similar to what we currently have inside of Copilot for Sales, right? So today in Copilot for Sales, if somebody mentions something like, uh, hey, uh, this is my budget amount, or I want to, you know, make a decision by this and this date, then it will, Copilot for Sales will suggest updates to your CRM system. So this is similar to that, right? Now, the difference here is that this is going to be inside of uh, Microsoft Teams meetings. So you need to make sure that you have Copilot for Service added to that Teams meeting. And then what it will do after the meeting is completed, it will create a meeting summary and it will also um, create those follow-ups, right? So to create CRM tasks. So make sure, don't forget to do this, that type of thing. Now this is gonna be very beneficial because it makes you more productive, right? There's no switching back between CRM and Copilot for service. So this is gonna be a very nice feature as well. Just like the other feature I just mentioned, unfortunately, only available in the United States as of now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.